Hello, I'm back in Chicago. You join me for another episode of Lost in the Pond, and today I'm going to do one of those uh, unboxing videos that I've heard are quite popular uh, online. Uh, and this is a box that was sent to me over the Christmas period by my friend Tom in England. I was unfortunately in Indiana at the time and couldn't open it, so I hope its contents haven't gone mouldy and horrible. They might have, actually. Um, well, I know what it is. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you right now. It's that's really that's heavy, the surprise. Though. It might not just be what you think it is. I know, he may have sent me a gun. Can't Got get it. those in England very yeah. easily. Uh, but I will go ahead and see what we've got here. He's really packaged it up uh, quite tightly. There's, look at all that cellar tape, or what do you call it? Scotch tape. Uh, but yeah, so I will need scissors for part of this, so I hope that doesn't ruin the effect. I've never done an unboxing video. I don't even know why they're so popular, but apparently they are, so I'm going to sell out and not do things that are true to my heart. That's a lie. I will. I kind of like these videos in some way. They're, they're fun. They're living um, vicariously. That's why they're so popular. That's true. You heard what she said. So, uh, where do you start with something like this? Let's turn the box around. Uh, look at this. It's the same on the other side. It's not really that interesting. Um, but... Uh, in fact, it's an Asics box. Yeah, that's, it's shoes. Maybe he got me shoes instead. Not to, not to preempt what we're about to see. I already know, like I said, what is in here. Come on, you... This is, this is the fun part, isn't it, of Christmas presents. Today's January 3rd, so kind of a late entry into my gift opening process. There you go. Look at that. Awfully okay, impressive. Yeah. It does take a lot of arm muscle. Use the scissors. I thought I did, and I didn't do it well enough because he's packed this really tightly. I don't think he trusts the American customs. Maybe he doesn't trust me. Come on, what's in here? All right, there we go. And then... Uh, never point scissors toward yourself. Yeah, don't do that. If you're watching at home, don't do this. Hold it that way. No, that's still, that's, I, I failed at school. It's fine. Um, so turn the box that way. It's got a, this is stupid. Oh, there you go. I got a big slice there. That was good. Not of my finger, the box I'm talking about. And let's see. Oh, I've nearly done this. This is the hardest part. Thank you, Tom. That's my friend's name, by the way. Um, oh, we'll get the other side. Look at that piece of tape stuck on there. Oh, hope I don't accidentally uh, penetrate the box. Sounds filthy. And uh, disrupt the product that's inside. How do you disrupt a product? Is that even a thing? I don't think you can with this one. There's the wrong terminology. Right, this has gone on too long. We've opened it up. Oh, and there's more inside. Jesus. Uh, a little gift from the United Kingdom. Look what they've sent. So, firstly, Twix. Beautiful. They're amazing. Oh, look at that. Caramel, what are they called again? Car caramel wafer biscuits. Now, just for confirmation, I won't be eating all of these on air um, because that that would take a long time and a lot of bravery. He probably won't be eating any of them. He's decided to give up sweets again this year. I have, actually. But, uh, but what is that? I th some kind of uh, fish product. So I may not be able to eat that because vegetarian, but the wife will. Unless it, it, it doesn't have any in it, it might not. Uh, we'll look at that later, but look at that. Salt and vinegar. Get in, as they say, back in the land of Britain. Here, shortbread. We got shortbread. Yay. Look at that. Look at that. My friend sent me shortbread. This is amazing. Oh. You don't even like shortbread. I do. Remember, I, I, yeah, I began liking it four years ago. Oh. When, yeah, when I had a, a, a round of it at someone's house. And, and I decided I'd made a mistake that whole time. Mini cheddars! We've got mini cheddars! <laughs> Sorry, that was I was way too excited about that, but my gosh, I need those for lunch at work. It's an ambulance. Why am I giving you the scissors? So they're out of your way. I'm going to need them again. Why? Well, because I will. Look at it. I d what is that? Golden Wonder... Prawn cocktail crisps! Yay! Prawn cocktail... Say thanks to Tom. Thanks, Tom. She loves prawn cocktail crisps. I may have mentioned that. I don't. Maybe I didn't. Um, amazing. 
absolutely amazing. They always come in a pink bag, and I don't know why that is. Why is that? I don't know, but they're <clears> amazing. Yay! Yeah, real... I miss this. You can't get them in America, because in America, they call uh, prawns shrimp, so it wouldn't really translate. Um, although, you could still make that flavoured crisps and just call it shrimp cocktail. Why don't they do that? Nobody knows. Okay, what we got... This is amazing. It, it, it really is a lot of stuff. Um, Ovaltine. We've got some Ovaltine. It's very good. We used to have Ovaltine in America. We might still. We might, yeah. I don't know. I've Did they? I don't know. I'm improvising. I've no idea on mo what most of this stuff is going to be as I go into the box. So I don't have a fun fact for you lined up. Whereas usually I will because I cheat and go on Wikipedia, that well-known source of fact. So that can go there. Of course, um, Ovaltine was in the Christmas story. There you go, there you go, and it is Christmas. I've, I've just remembered, I've already told you that it's not. Uh, Toblerone, oh, it might be Swiss, but it's British. That's Let's like face that. Favorite, isn't it? uh, it's pretty much up there, yeah. It's a ter terrific piece of chocolate. Uh, just uh, don't dr drive to Dundee in your bare feet. What are we going to do with it? You're going to eat it. I'm so, going to eat it. I yeah, you like are. Toblerone. Come on, yeah. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> yes, coconut covered marshmallows, no Ooh. less. Yes. I've not had those kind. This is amazing. These are amazing. You're going to love them. Um, I believe you can get things of this nature at uh, War uh, World Market here in America. Yeah. Uh, which is great. Um, Snickers. You can definitely get them everywhere in America, but they're always uh, nice to see. Packed with protein. So, but I won't do a review on that because you already know it. Oh, but this. I think definitely top three. Top three British chocolate it's a bars. It's a bounty. <laughs> what do you you have? We have a version of bounty here in America, don't we? Yeah, it's uh, mounds. Mounds. It's just like mounds, but called that for some reason. Uh, wonderful, wonderful chocolate bar. Here, try and eat it through the screen. You can't because <laughs> I haven't taken the wrapper off. So don't. All right, and then we're getting down to the nitty gritty. The the big deal is in here. Look at that, Yorkie. Is it still not for girls? It's not for girls. You can't eat it, but I can't. Although they may have done away with that uh, tagline because it's sexist so let's see no there's nothing no it doesn't say that anymore wow. so you can have it um i miss this chocolate bar i mean i'll eat it anyway all uh, right okay some horlicks what's that like, it's a it's a hot drink that you drink it's uh yeah an, uh, an original malted milk drink just add milk if you have any so beautiful oh nice I've heard of it. I don't remember what it is. I'm going to have to try it. And uh, some of the best. Yay! Oh, look at that. Look at that. They go together. They're like a pair. Oh, a pair of Yorkies. Tea. Oh, do you want a brew of Yorkshire tea? You'll put it on kettle. No. That's yeah, more Bolton. in the middle of the project. Oh, that's a shame. We'll have some later, though. We love Yorkshire tea. We love tea just in general. I love Yorkshire tea more than pretty much any other kind. And now we get down... So the main prize, the thing I've been waiting for, and it's still soft. That's good. I was uh, fearing that it might be hard. I'm still talking about what's in the box. Uh, it's a saurine brick, as I used to call it. It's uh, the reason I did that is because it's well, it's brick shaped, and um, it really is huge. Look at that. But that's what it is? Gigantic. That's like three yeah. times the size of a regular one. <laughs> but it's a malt loaf, um, and I I'm not kidding. Uh, as unhealthy as this probably was, I used to eat one of these whole every day. Well, not every day, but yeah, sometimes they were about I would a third do it. The size of that. Well, no, they were, don't, they, they were as big as this one. What? I just didn't tell you. I'd cut it in half and pretend that I was only eating half of it when, in fact, I'd go into the bathroom and eat the rest. Lawrence, where are you? This apartment is way too small for you to be... Ugh. It's all right. No rest. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, but they're lovely. Soaring brick. Uh, it's not... No one else calls it that. It's soaring malt loaf. Um... I recommend it if you ever go to England. Eat it, it'll change your life forever, and you'll become a big strong man like me, or a man like me. A big man like me. I'm big, aren't I? Women eat it too. Soreen, it's not for girls. <laughs>